gingers. Does anyone really like gingers? We have Kick a Ginger Day, countless shows making fun of gingers, myths about gingers stealing souls, and even the dictator Idi Amin apparently didn't like gingers. But what if I told you that it's possible that about two and a half billion people may worship a ginger, and almost two billion people see a ginger as being a great prophet? Well, you've read the title of the video, so I'm sure you know that I mean Jesus Christ. And I'm sure you're scratching your head, but believe it or not, in many traditional art pieces, Jesus is portrayed as having red hair. Why is that? What's the significance? And should I even care about this question? Well, for the answer to all of these questions and more, stay tuned. In the 1920s, a Presbyterian minister slash lecturer made the claim that Jesus may have been the son of a Gaulish Roman soldier, and that's why he has ginger hair. Naturally, this caused outrage. Offended students contacted the church council and the minister was tried for heresy, and his acquittance led to a split within the church. Among the books and articles written about this incident, the concept that Jesus may have been a ginger is completely lost, and well, rightly so, as his hair colour, of course, is not linked to his divinity, and definitely not in the same way the virgin birth is. But it's strange to see such an educated man making a case for a red-haired Jesus. Well, where did the concept come from? Well, firstly, let's look at art. Often in artwork, Jesus is depicted as having reddish hair. A famous example in the UK is the east window of the Holy Trinity Church in Sunderland, which actually is believed to be the only depiction of Jesus Christ with red hair in the UK. But this art piece is not very old, coming from 1857. So let's go further back. If you look online, you will find lots and lots of examples of Renaissance art and medieval artwork which betrays Jesus as having red hair. But we can even go further back than this, to the oldest known illustrated manuscript of the Bible from the 6th century known as the Rabula Gospels. Research into the Rabula Gospels have revealed that some of the images in the document have been repainted and that originally the hair of Jesus had been changed from curly red hair to straight black hair. Which is a bit strange to say the least. Moving away from art, there's a letter known as the Letter of Lentulus, an epistle which was supposedly sent by Publius Lentulus to the Roman Senate, but nowadays pretty much agreed to be a 15th century forgery. This letter describes Jesus as red haired, stating that his hair was the colour of the ripe hazelnut. Some Islamic accounts also describe Jesus with a reddish complexion as well, one stating that he was a reddish man with many freckles on his face as if he had just come from a bath. So there are a lot of sources which suggest that Jesus was red haired, and possibly of red complexion. But is there any significance to this, and why would people think that he had red hair in the first place? Well, believe it or not, there are a couple of pretty simple biblical answers to this question. Answer number one is because of the fact that Jesus' life was an atoning or compensating sacrifice, like the red heifer found in the Jewish Torah. Theologians and believers in Christianity make the connection between Jesus and the red cow, stating that the cow's sacrifice alludes to the death of Jesus Christ. One source writes, The imagery of the blood of the heifer without blemish being sacrificed and its blood cleansing from sin is a foreshadowing of the blood of Christ shed on the cross for believers' sin. He was without blemish, just as the red heifer was to be, 
And as the heifer was sacrificed outside the camp, in the same way Jesus was crucified outside of Jerusalem. And so Jesus also suffered outside the city to make the people holy through his own blood. Answer number two is that King David, an ancestor of Jesus and someone also anointed by God, is also described as being red in complexion. Some people have taken this to mean that David had red hair, but the word found in 1 Samuel 16 12 is an expression of the fact that he had a healthy glow because of his youth and was red because he had good circulation. And finally, answer number three, which is by far the most important, is the fact that Jesus is seen as being like the first man, Adam. Professor Michael Reeves, talking about the phenomenon of people painting pictures of a red-haired Jesus, explains that the link is due to the fact that the name Adam is very similar to the Hebrew for red, which led to the traditional view that Adam was red-haired. The church fathers in the early centuries of Christianity emphasized the fact that Jesus was the start of a new race, the same way Adam was, and that he was the new, better Adam. This led artists to paint Jesus with red hair. So there you have it. Was Jesus a ginger? Well, I sincerely doubt it, as just judging by accounts of people speaking with Jesus in the Bible, no one was able to pick him out as being particularly different. Well, what did Jesus look like? Well, we'll look at that next time. But if you have any thoughts, please feel free to post them below. And as always, thank you for watching.